all right what is up everybody coming back at you with another video on the channel today and today we have got another quick review for you um so this is a knife i've wanted for quite a while um i've almost bought it on the secondary market a couple times um but you know prices were always high especially on ebay there was a used one they wanted like you know 450 um anyways um finally got one uh they've hit pretty much all the major retailers now um you know got another run in and, th and that happens a lot with these Riot made knives you know they'll kind of cycle through like you know there's a lot of chavez for a while sharp by design pops out every once in a while <clears throat> the jaeger run was about six months ago now um but now it's the uh the raptor run so uh another dead giveaway of a Riot made knife is this white box um they they use this for a lot of their stuff um and it's got the good old made in china stamp um but anyways these are pretty cool knives um this is the v2 there's an initial run they made some changes and this specific one is a dlt trading exclusive so let's get right into it here the raptor titanium dark blast plus bronze anodizing plus tumble dash marble carbon fiber blade m390 hollow grind belt satin um so just like uh, both of my uh, Jaegers, it comes in this nice leather filling pouch. I got it real leather. This is the stickers you got. I really do like this sticker. That's the Brian Brown logo. That one's pretty cool. Fix this lighting just a little bit. Um, I need to get some better lighting for these videos. BrianBrownKnives.com. His logo once again. Sweet logo. And here is your card uh coa comes with a picture of the knife which is pretty cool um dlt trading raptor v2 machine satin m390 all that stuff so now we look at the knife once i wipe it down for you like i should have done before i started can't all be perfect boom here it is guys the brian brown knives raptor and this one is a beauty. So with all these drops I was talking about, there was quite a few options out there. Um, let's see. River's Edge Cutlery has a like a milled pattern uh, titanium or uh, bronze milled pattern one. Knife Joy got, it was just a black handle, but it had Mokutai uh backspacer clip and pivot collars that was a pretty good one it was 475 this one was 375 is the only reason i didn't go with that one plus i really like the inlay um big fan of that inlay so let's get a good flick here oh yes that beautiful riot belt satin hollow ground blade nice drop couple shakes um now since i've had a lot of riot knives when i get them sometimes i'll run home from work on my lunch and pick it up and take it back to work <clears throat> and i just grab the box and hop back in the car uh, i don't put oil in them or anything and you flick it for a few minutes and they start to get real kind of grindy uh, they just come really dry but i actually like that i'll flick it at work quite a bit break it in dry and get home i normally some people don't like that that's just disassemble the whole thing look at how it's made that's half the fun for me completely disassemble it wipe it down re-oil it then reassemble it um that's what i did with this one so i do with most of my knives even this one up here the uh evo 3.0 i did that with so no knife is safe uh, but anyways, obviously a big fan of the Jaeger. Got two of them. Uh, love Riot made knives. And I wanted a Raptor for a while. Well, Knife Joy uh, put their version up as a pre-order. <clears throat> and I'm sure Brian Brown had a pre-order on his side as well. I don't do pre-orders. Say what you want. I just don't do that. I don't pay for a knife and get it six months later. Uh, I just refuse to do it. Everything's a pre-order now. And 90% of the time... I catch it on a drop anyways 
Um, it is what it is. It's my opinion. Anyways, um, so this is 7.75 inches overall. It's got a 3.5 inch blade. So a lot of cutting edge uh, on this knife. And the blade to handle ratio is really, really good. You can see the blade. I mean, it, it comes down to the very end of the knife there. Got this very nice marbled carbon fiber inlay. Um, I would have loved to have seen some fat carbon. I think that would have... Um, they did put the screws on the show side, though. Um, but that does set it up for... You know, it'd be really cool is getting like a Timascus or a Zerku tie inlay made by one of these custom guys. That would be sweet. But I was thinking, um, EDC Foundry has a Zerku tie or, or Moku tie kit. Uh, comes with a backspacer clip and pivot collars. If you got that and then got an inlay done. Um, but like I said, it was a hundred bucks more for the Knife Joy exclusive, and it was just plain black handles. So for me, I was like, man, I really like that one. Um, I had been looking at that one. I was like, but it's a hundred bucks more. And you're at almost 500 for, you know, a Riot made Raptor. And I was like, eh, I don't know if it's worth it. Just to have some pretty colors. Then I saw this one. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go with that one. I like the price and I really like that inlay. Um, so the knife overall, really good ergos on this thing. The, the handle is very slim. I've got these big 2x glove hands and um the size is good overall obviously you know really slim profile um very easy seeable it's got a very similar clip to the uh jaeger very similar just a little bit smaller there as you can see um in and out of pocket pretty good a little bit of a lip to slide under there Obviously, a thumb stud, deployer, frame lock. Um, ergos, though. With that slim handle, it's a bit of a different feel, um, but it's comfortable. It's a little weird to get used to. Uh, it's, you know, very thin and slim handle. Um, I don't have another knife like it um, with that curve in it. Feels oddly familiar, but... Um, very comfortable. I can get a four-finger grip. You put your first three fingers here. Then your pinky hangs out there, as you can see. Pinky on the bottom. Very comfortable grip. Um, on the blade, you got this cutout up here. Your thumb just falls into that so perfectly for good push cuts. I am a lefty, um, so I can kind of wrap up on the clip there and lock the thumb in. Just feels really good. And then your standard saber grip, you can do a normal grip. Um, you do get some jimping right there. Get your thumb on that jamping, do some work. Um, but the cool part is you get this flat part into a small finger choil, but when you put them together, you're able to choke up very comfortably. And then your thumb just glides right into that cut out there. Very comfortable. Um, if, you, if you've got smaller hands, it would work even better for you, even though it's Almost a full size knife, 7.75. Um, very EDCable, um, and you get a lot of blade. Um, let's do a comparison here on this big old Chavez. On the blade ratio, you get there almost the same amount of cutting edge, um, you know, as the big old Chavez on this smaller knife. Um, and uh, it fits into the handle really well so the detent is spot on on this thing Riot kills it with their detents uh, they're very good so your normal flick very solid very satisfying reverse flick right-handed no issues there can get that down now as a lefty the only issue I've had is the pinky here kind of got to think about it when you're holding it but you can fire it out no issues there um i have kind of caught my pinky on the blade not on the sharp part but just kind of hitting it flipping it out um now the reverse flick left handed is not really there you got to come down to the clip which is way down here and i can do it and it's not too awkward but it looks kind of weird <laughs> when you do it like that 
Um, but if you're riding, no issues there. Um, the only thing I don't like about this version is the DLC or PVD thumb studs. They look good, don't get me wrong, I like the look there. Um, but that's gonna wear off fairly quickly, I would imagine, and leave it looking not so good. Eh, not a huge deal. Um, probably not gonna carry this one a ton, but I will fidget with it quite a bit. Now down here, when I first got it, I was trying to figure out where to press the lock bar at. I was getting up here, you know, it was only dropping that far. And uh, after a minute, I looked and I saw that cut out there. And it just felt kind of low because it's on like the thinnest part right there. Um, but when you get it into that cutout, it drops really well. Um, just a couple shakes. Now, a lot of re Reot made knives aren't like completely drop shut. Now, these apexes get pretty close here. Just, you know. tiny little shakes and that's generally because their detents are a little stronger and they have really good detents and when that detent is pushing on the blade harder it's harder to get drop shut now that's not a complete excuse because on you know like the evo 3.0 here the detent is some people would call it strong i call it perfect um but the action is obviously insane yeah i got a video on this coming out should already be out actually it's so funny, my OCD, you can see these two little marks here. That one right there, and that one. Yeah, you can see them there. They're part of the stone wash. You can see the other marks, but those just slightly stand out. And it's just driving me nuts. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> um, it. It makes me want to get rid of the whole knife, as crazy as that sounds. It just really, really bothers me. I just wanted that knife for so long. It's got those two little marks. Oh, drives me crazy. Anyways, uh, but overall, I'm, I'm really digging the Raptor. Um, what I'm trying to, I like the Jaeger. Now, if this was a reverse flickable knife, this had a deployment hole, I might like it more than the Jaeger. Aesthetically, I don't know. I really like that blade shape um, with the hollow grind. Um, just kind of two different knives, but. I do love a good Brian Brown design, so I was happy to finally pick one of these up, and I am really enjoying it. Um, so yeah, um, that's the Brian Brown Raptor. Um, dropped right before Christmas. Perfect gift for the holidays. Anyways, I'm going to wrap this one up. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Um, check out DOT Trading. These were still available as of 12 17. Um, I'm sure they'll sell out soon. Once they sell out, they're gone. You know, it's a limited run exclusive. Um, so, yeah. Very nicely made knife. Love the design. Appreciate you guys watching. Subscribe to the channel. Like this video. And have yourself a great day.